So um, with Professor Mishkin, he was in the Federal Reserve. So he explained the economic environments. And you, at this time, listening to him is very valuable for us. So, so you, you applied, you're at Columbia now. How's your experience been? You know, what have, uh, has it been everything you imagined and more? It was way better than what I imagined, of course. Oh, well. It was okay. amazing. And I'm so glad that I applied for MBA because it's opened my view. And I compare myself to what I was before MBA. It was, a, I'm a totally different person now. So how, sure. did it open your, how did it open your view? What, what, what are some of the changes in your perspective? One thing that you go to MBA and see is that such a diverse backgrounds that you see in your class, people are very bright and smart. Um, and talking with them, talking with professors, attending seminars and seeing how people think about business opens up your view. So um, that's one thing that helps. But also the courses that you take about different um, aspects of business, like finance, marketing, operations, that also gives you different facets. And ultimately, the internship that you get, again, opens up your view. And this this is a transformation for me, at least. You got a pretty great internship. Tell, tell us about your internship uh, and tell us how that, how that came together for you. Yeah, during the summer, I entered that Apple operation program management team. We were working, um, I did not work with Apple partners, but the team works with the partners to manufacture iPhone products or any other products that Apple produces. During the internship, I had to work with Apple's green initiative because Apple has a carbon footprint reduction plan by 2030. It's an ambitious plan. And I had to work with them to basically set the stage for the next year, set the target for 2024 and what, what are supposed to be done. So that was a great experience because I had to work with multiple teams at Apple. So it was a great cross-functional team, a lot of people's management teams, working with Chinese and Indian vendors, understanding how they look at problems and pulling everything together into something that is presentable to the executives. And that was a great experience for me. And do you have your, do you have your post MBA plan down at this point? I have, yes, I'm going back to Apple because it was a great experience and I love my offer. <laughs> So that's going to happen. Okay. So it was it was uh, the investment in your MBA after a PhD was 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 worthwhile. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. You know, one of the things I remember also is that you you wrote kind of very candidly at one point about how hard it was to you know to kind of adjust and make friends in the United States and and uh, and so the process of socializing at school and the type of community that you're in did you feel like you were at home right away was it hard work? Uh, and I and also I'm gonna maybe embarrass you a little bit here, but I why well, would this be embarrassing? But you're also an uh, you're also an excellent dancer and a salsa dancer. And have you found an outlet for that passion at, at business school or in or in New York? Well, not anymore. I'm not excellent. Anymore. I was a good dancer, but it's been a while I haven't danced, yeah. especially after COVID. But yes, salsa it right. really helped. When I moved to USA, I was all alone. I did not know how I should approach Americans. Our culture is a little different than Americans. Um, I had to learn, like in Iranian culture, we can approach random people randomly with no <laughs> introduction. But in America, as you know, it's very different. So I found it very difficult to make friends and find friends. And being a PhD student in an electrical engineering STEM major, it's even more difficult. It's not like an MBA that everyone is here to network. In my major, everyone was there to isolate and focus on their studies. So um, after, I guess, I don't know, six months or nine months, I decided to do something about it because I can't be alone all the time. And that's why I realized, okay, maybe I should go to a dance class. And that helped me a lot, actually, to find so, friends and socialize. And did you find it easier to, easier to, to, to like, was, it, was the community, was the MBA community much more outgoing? Did you, did you find yourself at home right away making fast friends from around the world? Right, yes. MBA... Again, that was another eye-opening thing for me because it was drastically different from my experience before that. It's like a different planet. And people are really open. They're eager to get to know each other. And um, you, that's why they're there because they want to network, basically, and understand what others are thinking about the world. Right. Okay. So you've, so you've, so you've got... Give me a few countries of people you've got friends from right now. Oh, Korea, Japan, um, Argentina, Peru... USA, I don't, I don't need to mention that, I guess, <laughs> here in the USA. And Iran, and, too, because I saw another, well, I saw a lot of, not a lot of, a few Iranian-Americans who were born here. So what have been your favorite, what's your favorite class? Now that I'm at my last semester, I can mention technology strategy with Professor Wong. 
and okay. global global economic environments with Professor Mishkin. Okay, that's amazing. I love him. What do you love so much with the classes? So um, with Professor Mishkin, he was in the Federal Reserve uh, back in pr President Bush time. Dang. So he talks about what's happening, like in the economy. You learn, especially now that we're facing a recession. I'm not gonna. Don't take my word. I'm just guessing <laughs> here. So he explained the economic environments, and you at this time listening to him is very valuable for us. He kind of like eye opening again. You learn okay from someone who was in the Federal Reserve how he thinks about the world is obviously amazing. Well, okay, great. Thank you, so Armin. Great to see you. I mean, thanks so much for Likewise. doing this. Thank you so uh, much. You know, just just awesome to see you thriving in in. Uh, in your MBA and now your post MBA life, and I couldn't be more happy for you. Likewise, thank you so much, and I'm so glad that I found a great friend like you in America. That was another big things that I gained when I moved to USA.